left in such a hurry this morning that I forgot to bring my hat or walking stick or money or even a handkerchief. Thorne has lent me a green hood and cloak to wear. We had two breakfasts and three lunches. I thought the adventure might not be so bad after all, but in the afternoon, a sudden storm arose and frightened off the ponies who took with them all of our food and provisions. So I've been starving ever since. Now it's nighttime and it's cold and damp. Even worse than that, we're in troll country. So we must move very cautiously as roasted dwarf is their favorite meal. I wish I was home in my nice hobo by the fire. Oh, there you are, Bilbo. I thought for a minute that we had lost you. What on earth are you doing? I'm writing in my diary as I do every day. Writing all the exciting events that have occurred. Ah, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. If you look off into the distance, you can definitely see the glimmer of a campfire. And if you sniff a little, you can smell the definite smell of roast chicken. Why so? There is! Delicious! And now is the time to test your skills as a burglar. Go investigate what is being barbecued, then come back here if it is safe. If you are in trouble, just hoot like a barn owl, then we will come to your rescue. But I don't know how to hoot. I've never hooted in my life. You'll soon learn to if you have to. Now go on, no time to spare. No time to spare. You don't want to go to bed hungry, do you? I'm on my way. And uh, steal something while you're there. Just a leg or a thigh. And try picking you a few pockets just for practice. And don't try to get too frightened by the trolls. If they don't get back into their caves by sunup, they will turn to stone. Stop your eyes, you find the night's almost over and dawn is on 
It turns stone the minute the sun comes up. That's why I kept them arguing until sunrise. So let's help our friends.
Gentlemen, let us all go have some breakfast, then take a short nap. The road is dangerous. Uh, the road is dangerous from now on. We'll bury the golden thunder so we can find it on our way back. And let us carry as many provisions with us as possible. But before we take a, take another step, I have a serious matter to discuss. I have said from the beginning that Mr. Baggins may not look like a hero or slay of dragons, but I predict that he will end up the hero of this journey. I would like to hear some reassurance for our friend the, the Hobbit. We were all hungry, and now we have food, extra weapons, and gold. If Bilbo hadn't had the courage to try and burgle something from the trolls, our expedition would be in real trouble. Three cheers for Bilbo Baggins! We love you, Bilbo. Honest, we do. We couldn't have managed without you. Let's hear it for Bilbo! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go have some breakfast.